Hello, my name is Mike and welcome back to Fallout 3 Wanderers Edition. We have just returned from Point Lookout and we are not doing so great. Got a bunch of addictions. Uh, yeah, and uh, I need to drop off my loot before I overdose on medications and alcohol. Yeah, I've got over 300 rounds, th over 350 rounds for this sniper rifle that I'm using and a bunch for the sniper rifle that I'm not using and a bunch of ammunition for this shotgun. Yeah, over 150 shells. Really nice. Unfortunately, my condition isn't so great. I've got advanced radiation poisoning. Uh, yeah, I've been consuming alcohol like crazy trying to make it to town. I've got a morphine addiction and some other addictions that aren't showing up right now. However, I do have Superior Defender that I got from uh, Desmond while I was at Point Lookout, which gives me an extra 10 damage resistance. Which is really nice, because even though I broke my helmet, I'm not wearing it, I still have a damage resistance of 61 now. So I have, I have a lot of tough armor that the enemy has to penetrate before they can actually do a lot of damage to me. But enough about that. It's time to make my way to the clinic and <laughs> get rid of some of these problems that I have. You came in here on your own power, so you must not be busted up too bad. No, my limbs are fine, but I've got a couple other problems, Doc. I think I'm addicted to a couple things. I can take care of it for you. For a price. Alright, Doc Church. Time to flush these addictions. Alright, that should do it. You need anything else? Oh, let's see what you have to trade. I've got 1,800 caps, so yeah, let's trade in some of this ammunition that I don't use for some... Yeah, for a couple more stim packs, I think. And now I need you to heal my radiation, too. Sure can. Quick and easy. Only 100 caps. Yep, go ahead and do it. And a quick shot. All done. All right. Thank you, Doc Church. It's time for me to go. Try to be careful. Yep. All of my body parts are in tip-top condition. I have no radiation. Um, and I have no negative modifiers. I'm, I'm a little drunk and I'm full of food right now, but that'll wear off. So right now I am in really good shape. And now up to Crater's side supply to see Moira. I don't have any more quests to do for her, but I still have a bunch of stuff in my inventory that I want her to buy from me. Moira, let's see what you have for sale. Absolutely. Hmm. You don't seem to have much of anything that I want, actually, which is unfortunate. Why don't you give me the My First Infirmary? Yeah, that's not too expensive, so yes. Good hunting. All right. Huh. I guess I could have bought the infirmary first and then used that instead of talking to the doctor, but it's not important. I have the infirmary now and it's here when I need it. Alright, let's see if I can use these books that I've been collecting, but I haven't had the skill to use yet. So now I've got Big Book of Science. No, I found it boring and confusing. How about the Chinese Army Special Ops Training Manual? Nope, nope, I'm still a little low on skill when it comes to that. But how about duck and cover? There we go, keep reading. Boom, I read all four of them. What kind of perk did that get me? Duck and cover perk has been added. With each rank of this perk, all of my explosives do an additional 5% damage. Very nice, very nice. I'm not really specialized for explosives, but I do use them occasionally, so that's good to have. I doubt I'm going to be able to use Grognak or Pugilism Illustrated anytime soon. Yeah, I haven't put any, I have not been putting points in any of those skills. I've got other things that take priority. So how about nope, Barter is not one of them either. Nope. All right, I think that's about as good as I'm going to get. And we are ready to head out on an adventure now. All of our equipment is in pretty good condition. We've got plenty of ammunition. We got plenty of healing supplies. And we've got a couple more quests to do in that Capital Wasteland. I need to make my way to Vault 87 still, the main quest. I also have to visit Alistair Tenpenny at Tenmedi Tower and visit Dave at the Republic of Dave. I still have to figure out who I'm going to sell these Lincoln artifacts to, which means I also have to figure out where the Slave Hideaway is. And I also have three more pieces of DLC I need to eventually make my way to doing. Ugh, my vision is still a bit blurry because I'm still drunk, but that'll wear off with time. Now, can I use this motorcycle? Because I used fast travel once before, I guess. Now, do I still have a, like, I had two uh, units of fuel. How much do I have now? I still have two units of fuel. Okay. That's weird. Somehow I was able to fast travel at one time. It's very weird. 
I can't fast travel right now. None of these fast travel locations are available. It's telling me it's currently unavailable from this location. But yes, there's the Temple of the Union, Canterbury Commons, Vault 108. A couple of places I haven't visited yet. Girder Shade. There's the Dunwich Building, where I was told to bring that haunted book, but I'm probably not going to do that. Vault 87, that's where I need to go for the plot, and a bunch of unexplored territory up here. So what am I going to do first? I tell you what, Vault 101 is right here, and Vault 106 is right here, so that's not too far away at all. So let's go check out what Vault 106 is, because uh, I don't really remember what vault that is. I know there's one vault in here that's got a bunch of people named Gary, and that's all I can really remember. There are a couple of vaults here, so we'll see what this one is. Ooh, actually, before I head out on this little adventure, I'm moving quite slowly right now. Yeah, something is slowing me down. Either the fact that I'm stuffed with Punga plant food, or the fact that I'm still inebriated slightly. So I'm going to go back to my bed, seeing as how it's 6 o'clock p.m., and I'm going to sleep for about 12 hours. I'm just going to wait until tomorrow, and then I'm going to head off on an adventure. Whoa, whoa! My bed's here! My bed's here, can I... It's... I can move it, okay? I can move it. I just have to figure out how to pick this thing up now. I think it's upside down. Let me just flip it over. Like this. How about that? Aha, it requires one energy cell per setup, and I have none in my inventory. But can I pick it up now? No. No, there's some way I can pick this up, but I don't know how. This, po this finally popped out of the floor. So maybe I'll be able to take this with me from now on. All right, I had some energy cells in my locker, so. Oh, I picked it up. No, okay, I set it up. I removed an energy cell and I have it set up. So now I can sleep on this little mattress now, right? I can. Well, why would I want to sleep on a bed with a frame and a mattress when I can sleep on this portable bed? Yeah, sure, let's sleep here on the floor. And it is 6.20 a.m. My morphine has worn off. My alcoholic moonshine has worn off, the Radex has worn off, and I'm probably a bit hungry. Now, how do I pick this up? Extend the grounding spike and de-energize the filler material. This may take a moment, depending on ground quality. Once the thing has fully discharged, roll tightly to achieve the smallest possible package, then bind. In other words, press and hold the grab key while activating the unit to transport. Well, that's what I've been doing, but I can't seem to get this to move. Welcome home, sir. Thank you. Get out of my face. Now, I'm holding the move button, which does not actually move it. No, every time I hit the button, it just says sleep. So, I guess this bed is kind of stuck here for now. Well, I guess this is good if I ever have company. Well, now it looks like I have two items in my room that cannot be moved. The water purifier is here if I ever need it, and the bed is here if I ever break that one up there, I guess. Well, oh well, never mind. Good to see and we are off on an adventure. We are headed to Vault 106 right now. It's not too far away, so I don't expect this little excursion to take too long or be terribly difficult. But if I run into any problems, Megaton is not that far away. Should not be a problem. Unfortunately, I did not find any medical braces that Moira had, and it didn't uh, didn't occur to me to maybe ask the doctor if he had any. So I've got one medical brace right now. So it is very important that I take out enemies before they see me, because I don't want to fix my limbs. I don't want to have to go through the whole limping to megaton process again, because that is very tedious. It's quite the ordeal. So hopefully, get the drop on enemies before they get the drop on me, which should not be a problem since I have 350 rounds for this freaking sniper rifle. Ah, <sighs> what is down here? Probably nothing. I've probably passed this place a couple of times. Yep, not much of anything in here. All right, keep on moving. Ooh, where am I now? This isn't, no, I'm not familiar with this area. Lizard down here, ignore that. Some kind of radioactive sign here. Oh, this is Vault 106. Nice. Oh, not so nice. Don't know who this is. But it's not a problem anymore. Laszlo Radford. Don't know who you are or why you were hostile, but it's not a problem, I suppose. Had a combat knife and some railway spikes. Hmm. 
And a railway rifle. Well, I'll take it. Don't know if I'll use it, but I'll take it. Well, don't know what your backstory was, partner, but I suppose it doesn't matter. Your story has come to an end here. All right, and now into Vault 106. Let's see what you've got in store for me. Pretty standard entrance here, just some tin cans. Yep, hit the button. And open Vault 106. Yep. Yeah. Alright. Bit of a mess in here, but I didn't expect this vault to be in pristine condition. Yeah, blood splatter here. Yep. Yep, and here. Yep, bad things went down here. But let's just start scrounging and see if we can find anything useful. Alright, let's just search the right side first. Mm-hmm. And in here. Hmm, not much of anything. Alright, how about here? Locked very easy. Pick this. Open it up. Hmm. Not a whole lot. Ooh, someone's dead here with a laser pistol. Whoa, whoa. Got someone's attention, apparently. Aha! Where? Oh! Insane survivor, huh? Not a problem anymore, I guess. Huh. Had Chinese officer sword and a vault suit. Hmm. Okay. Well, maybe this terminal will help me out here. Nope, it's locked hard. Not gonna be able to use it. Never mind. Where? Another survivor found me. I heard ya. Yeah, I know you're running around here now. <laughs> yeah, you stay away. Luckily, they're all wielding <laughs> melee weapons like a pool cue, so they're not a real threat. Let's just go down here. No. All right, I'll just keep killing people. Oh, things are, oh. Weird glitch there. And let's put this recon armor helmet on that I repaired since it gives me plus three damage resistance. Not as good as that helmet that I dropped a while back, but yeah, it's pretty good. Aha. Uh Aha. -huh. Uh -huh. Over here. Yaw! Yeah. Yep, not a problem. This is really easy. This is like one of those quests I should have done at level 5 because it's so easy, but now I'm just gonna go through and slaughter everyone. Hmm. Doesn't look to be much of anything down this area, so I'll keep heading around the other areas. Uh, no, nothing in here. Alright, let's head back up and go down the other stairs. Alright, a couple of rooms had some pre-war books that were all destroyed, so nothing useful for me. More purple. Whoa, people walking around. Scientists. But they keep disappearing, so I guess they're just hallucinations. Am I becoming an insane survivor? Ooh, should I not be staying down here for very long? Alright, I'll start scavenging a bit faster. Lot of busted terminals around here. None of them seem to be working. And now let's head down to Vault 106 Living Quarters. And sure enough, there are people down here who are living. Hey, Hi! Bye! Are. Right here! Ah, uh, you got no. me. With your little baton there. I almost felt that one. What is it? Right here. Come here. Ah, uh, you got me. But I knocked the weapon out of your hand, so you just kind of <laughs> slapped me. Oh! <laughs> You kind of startled me a little bit. I was talking to this buddy. Gee, get out of here. There are a lot of people in here who are insane and need to get shot in the face. Uh, so far, I have not found a whole lot. Ooh, a couple of grenades. Yeah, and uh, nothing in that first aid box, but this would have had some ibuprofen and some mentats down here. Uh, there's some stuff here. Nothing crazy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, this area is pretty big, and I'm, it's pretty easy to get lost. Oh, jeez! Now it's not just flickering purple. It's kind of jumping me around into different areas. It's just really disorienting. Oh. Uh, everything looks very nice. Hmm. Okay. So that's what that place looked like before everything went to, just went to pot. And, okay, now I'm going down. Here is some blood stains. So, because there's no purple, I'll just assume it's back in the modern day. Down further and further, more purple. 
Couple of scientists running around. Okay. Anything else? Nope, that was all that hallucination was gonna show me. Ooh, down over there. Or down over there, or a lot or down over here. A lot of different ways to a lot of different ways to go. Ow, ow. Take that. Alright, well I'll figure out where I'm gonna go eventually. A lot of different places I could check out though. This is very clearly the men's restroom. You can see it's got urinals, but there's no way to indicate out here that it's the men's restroom. There's no men's sign or men only or urinals sign. And equally, there's no women only sign over here for what is obviously the women's restroom. So, I, I, either the signs were destroyed or they just kind of memorized which one was which. This door is average locked. Oh, there's some stuff in here. Two corpses. Mm-hmm. More interested in what's in this safe, which is hard locked. Come on. Uh, yeah, not a lot. Really not a lot. Oh, but by picking that lock, I am at level 13 now. Let's get science up to 50 so I can access hard, uh, medium locked terminals. And let's see, five more points. Let's just get small guns up to 81. Uh, lock pick up to 81. All right, I got two more points. Let's put them in... Eh, we could put them in barter, I suppose. Sure, we'll get barter up to 40 eventually. That way we'll be able to use those books. Yeah, melee weapons. Not going to be using that very often. Hardly at all, actually. But I'll probably use it more than unarmed. So unarmed is probably going to stay where it is, as is melee weapons. And, yeah, I'm not going to use big guns or energy weapons either, so probably not going to put points into them either. But we'll see. And as for my perk, I think we're going to go with Robotic Expert. No, there's not a whole lot of robots. No, don't feel like that's worth it. So instead, yeah, why don't we go with Finesse? That gives me extra three points of luck in combat, which is nice. Sure. Now that I'm not too worried about my defense... More worried about how much damage I can do on offense. Sure, we'll go with that perk. Because, of course, having a sniper rifle means that the best defense is a good offense. Yes, more ammunition for said sniper rifle is indeed welcome. Ashtrays, however, are not. Alright, let's go down this area first. Whew, so many areas for me to check out. I don't know what's in any of these areas. Overturned desks. Eh, another safe, but that one is empty, never mind. Let's go down to the female dorm, since there was nothing in the male dorm. No, there's nothing of note in either of these dorms. So, male dorm and female dorm were kind of a bust. Nothing in their respective bathrooms. Nothing down there. Alright, I'll start making my way back and check out the other areas. Hmm, alright, back in this main course area. I think that's where I came out. So let's go into this door now. Oh, what's in here? Well, there was some ammunition here, but most of the stuff I picked up was really just good for selling. Yeah. Mostly cigarettes is what I picked up in here, so... Not a whole lot there. Let's check out... Ooh. This room with the blood trail going to it. Yeah, let's check this out. Easy locked. That's fine. Keep heading down. Vault 106 Science Labs. Alright, let's go into this new area now. Sounds like someone left a radio on. Enclave radio down here. One more survivor. Can't survive my shotgun blast. Just two of you down here? Very well. Or maybe there is a third. No, 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 no. You don't get to attack me and then run away. Get back here. Get back here. Time to tear you apart. Ooh. Kick ass. Someone's screaming like a raider. No. Out of here. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. Thought I heard. No. I am having a mix of hallucinations and real life combat with crazed survivors. So this is being very weird. This is not a blending of realities I enjoy. Oh, jeez! Wally Mack. One of the people from 101. Uh, a hallucination that actually did damage to me is what it looks like. 
This is not fun. This is not cool. Well, let's head down a bit farther. This can only get more and more weird. Nothing in here. All right, let's reload and head down these stairs. Anybody uh, else I want to attack me? You. Yeah, yeah. Is, uh, is that Freddy or is that Butch? Doesn't matter, it's just a hallucination. A hallucination that did damage to me, I can tell by the bloodstains on the screen. First mistake. It sounds like a raider, but I'm not facing raiders, I'm facing crazed survivors, so that's very strange! Survivor! Sur no, that was a real survivor, wearing a lab coat. Okay. And not a hallucination. Alright, I'm going to heal a little bit since they actually did quite a bit of damage to me. Ooh. Ooh, hello. What do we got here? Ammunition. Lots of ammunition. Good, good, good. Uh, and a mini nuke. Let's take that mini nuke before somebody accidentally sets it off in my face. And... Uh, just a bunch of corpses here. Is that it? Is this the end of the road? Hmm. Okay, well, I guess that's it. I didn't see any terminals that might give me a clue as to what happened. Uh, maybe there's another way that I haven't gone yet that'll give me more information or some better loot, because that can't be all that's in here. Okay, I haven't been here yet. Turn off the radio, loot the first aid box, eh, some good stuff, and some medical braces. Good, I needed that. Alright, so there's some stuff down here. I haven't been in this way. All right, let's continue along. Uh, no, that's where I can. Let's continue along these stairs. I'm back in the living quarters now. Ooh, Vault 106 Master Key, very nice. And the security terminal that I can use. Security notice. We are unsure of the full effects of the gas release, so we are requesting that anyone receiving this message head to the designated locations as noted on the C-11 form. Uh-huh. Okay, so apparently there was a brief test of gas being pumped in, and the control was supposed to be non-lethal and cleared from the air at 4 o'clock. But I'm assuming that the air was not quite so non-lethal as they had hoped. But, alright, now I have a key. Now I have to figure out where I'm going to use that key. Now, I think I've been down here. All the doors are open. Let me check the local map. Yeah, Science Labs is where I was. And there's more science labs down there, and that's the entrance. And it looks like there's some areas over here to explore. All right. So I'll make my way back to these science labs and see if I can find anything else. Ooh, is this the gas that's being pumped in? Huh. All right, probably shouldn't stick around here for too long. Don't know if this the gas has any long-term effects on me or not. Ooh, there's a bobblehead here. And it's science! Good! Yes, my science has been increased by five points. Always be prepared to explain the hows and whys. Very nice. Good. Better than those special bobbleheads, which don't, which don't actually give me a bonus. Just give me a trade, which is not nice. But yeah, I'm glad to have that science bobblehead. Ah, and here's where I use the key that I picked up. Yep, use the Vault 106 Master Key. All right, now we're making progress. Looks like there is more to this vault than meets the eye. More purple. There's the Overseer. I'm hallucinating or seeing a vision of days past. Yep, he's not here anymore. Let's see, what do you have around here? You've got this terminal, it's locked hard. Uh, I can't activate it because my science is only at 55 and not 75. Hmm, maybe I should put more points into science from now on, too. Let's see, the overseer was looking out here, but that doesn't really help me. I can't access his terminal. Can't access his computer. I don't see any keys around here. So, yeah, he was looking out here, but I don't see what he was looking at. Just seems to be more of the same. So I guess I'm done for now. Yeah, he was looking out here. He was looking in this general area. What were you looking at? This desk? No. Huh. Well, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do now, and I think I might not be able to figure it out until I get my science higher so I can access that terminal, which is disappointing. 
Yeah, I don't think any of these survivors was the overseer. Yeah, I guess we're done here. There's not much more I can do. Just kind of hit a roadblock, which is unfortunate. It really does... It really is unfortunate when I come all the way through here and then I find out I'm stuck and I can't go any further until I level up a bit more. That's just... Yeah, it doesn't feel like good design. Or maybe I'm just missing something that's very, very obvious. I don't know. But as far as I can tell, yeah, I'm done here. Well, oh well. Sometimes you go on an adventure and you figure out it's a bust. Well, that's too bad. Let's see where I'm going to go next. Uh, Girder Shade and Dunwich are all the way over here. A Vault 87 is where I need to go. Let's see, where else? I suppose I'm not too far from Big Town. Yeah, alright, let's start exploring our way to Vault 87. We'll just make our way there. That's uh, probably the closest objective, if I, as, as long as I don't want to walk all the way back to Megaton. Yeah, let, let's just head out in that direction. So, the Little Lamplight Caverns. Not too bad. I've got uh, ooh, a couple of raiders ahead of me is what it looks like. Let's take these guys out. Down you go. And who else? Stop moving around so much so I can shoot you. Ooh, an explosion behind me. I'm not sure what that was. Alright, just focus on my th the threat right here. Yeah, I've got a couple of raiders that I need to try and take out. Oh, uh, they might get... Yeah, they might be getting wind of me right now. Ooh, yep, yep. Indeed they are. Oh, ow, 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 ow. Ooh, powerful weaponry. Of course, powerful weaponry. Let's just back off a bit, lure them towards me, and if they get close, I can finish them off. Ooh, ooh, with a shotgun blast. Come on now, go ahead and get closer. Don't just shoot at the rocks. Ooh, yep, there they are. Pretty far away, let's see if I can pick this one off before she gets here. No, no, oh, oh, they're getting closer. Ooh, sounds like quite the barrage. Use this barrel as cover. Ow, ow, ooh, my head, ooh, my head, ow, 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 my head. Alright, got one. I know there's at least one more left, but I got rid of that one who was using a powerful weapon on me. Ow, ooh, yep, alright, back off a little bit more. Yeah, I see you, I see you all the way over there. I don't think you know where I am right now, just wander towards me. Yep, yep. And... Pow! Oh no, I hit the rubble. Darn it! Don't you just hate when that happens? Uh, 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 uh. Sounds like a powerful weapon. Uh. I see you. Come on, I gotta stop hitting the surroundings. Alright, she's getting really close right now, so shotgun time. Down she goes, there we go. I think she was the last threat, so let's just loot these bodies and make my way to their hideout. Yeah, the Bren automatic rifle. That's a that's a real threat, all right. And the AK-74U, albeit in absolutely terrible condition. I'll just take your noodles instead. All right, looks like the raiders made this playground their little area, which is somewhat messed up, but also not surprising considering that they are raiders. And here is the one that I shot and killed with my one shot. Very nice. Had a DKS-501 sniper rifle. I don't think that's what I'm using, is it? Yes, yes it is actually. Maybe I can repair it with that one. Let's see. E nope, I need 78% repair skill. That's too bad. Let's just drop that. Yeah, the one I have is in better condition anyway. So I'll, I'll just keep the one that I have. Ooh. But there is more movement down there. Ooh, wait. Ooh. Those are... Wait, a fallen brother. It looked like it was going to be a Brotherhood Outcast, but no, it looks like a fallen brother and a marauder. Stupid lizard, making too much noise. Yeah, alright, so I'm going to take out these these two guys over here. This one probably is probably the bigger threat. Uh, I hit you, but I didn't get you. I keep hitting you, but it's not good enough. Alright, I hit this marauder. Nope, alright, let me just load this new magazine. All right, gotta focus a little bit better. I'm getting hot. I'm getting some shots on this guy, but it's not enough to take him down. There we go. And you, the Marauder, shot you right in the neck. That did not drop you. 
You're not hostile now. Okay. Well, then, let me just get my shotgun out and go talk to you in person. If you're friendly, we can talk. If you're not, it won't be too difficult to put you down, seeing as how I... Yup, yeah, okay, okay, yup. Unfortunately, he is actually hostile once I got close. Probably didn't appreciate me shooting him in the neck. Come on, I saw you. There you go. That's what you get for crippling my head. Diet Mentats. Ooh, he's using the same weapon I have. I'll take that. Probably in better condition. And I'll take some ammunition as well. Ooh, Road Rascal Leather Armor. Ew, negative one charisma, negative five speech, and a really mediocre damage resistance. That's really bad. That is very bad. All right, and what about that fallen brother? Is he somewhere around here, or is this my blood? Probably my blood. Now, the Brotherhood guy was standing somewhere... Yeah, there he is. I see him. Okay. Let's see what he's got on him. Fallen Brother has... Uh, 30 bullets? Okay, he's got some decent stuff, including the Browning Automatic Rifle that I probably can't wield yet. And he's got... Hmm... Got some decent power equipment. Let me take this power helmet. Let me try this on. Yeah, the power armor is not that great, but let me try the power helmet. Yeah, it's better than the recon armor helmet I have right now. So let me put this on. Plus one to perception. Fix that up a little bit. Yep, put that on. I can't... Can I not put this on? Oh, I have to fit it. I have to go to a workbench and fit it before I can put it on. Okay. Well, I'll just go without for now then. Yes, I forgot. To wear power armor, I actually have to go to a workbench and customize it. So, ooh. Looks like they killed a scavenger here. Had some decent stuff on him. All right, so I drank a little bit of alcohol. Ooh, which probably wasn't a good idea. I see someone running around over there at the baseball diamond. Let's see if I can hit him while I'm drunk. Not on the first shot, it would seem. I hit him, but I didn't get him. Come on. Drop. Drop like a sack of potatoes, please. I knocked the baseball bat out of his hand. That's something to be proud of. And down he goes. All right, one more dead raider. Now, I don't think there's anything useful at that baseball diamond. I think I might have visited it before. Oof. Ooh, yeah, I probably should not have consumed that alcohol. All right, well, there's Fordham Flash Memorial Field. I don't think there's anything there. And there's Arfu. I could make my way to Arfu. Sure, we'll make our way to Arfu. All right, Arfu is not too far away, so I'm going to make my way to Arfu, and hopefully one of the traders, one of the... Wandering traders will be there and I'll be able to sell some of the things I have in my possession because I'm getting a little overburdened Just kill this dog on my way there and Should not have too much of a problem. Our food's right there. I can see it. Yeah, the collapsed highway, so We'll see if I run into any more problems. Probably not. Probably not All right, I just traded a lot of stuff into Doc Hoff, which is good That cleared up some inventory space, but I still have a problem. I'm still a little drunk and even though I have plenty of ammunition, I still need to fit this power helmet. I don't think there are any workbenches in Arfu, but maybe there's something I can use. If nothing else, I can sleep in Ian's bed. Yeah, Ian's got a bed I can stay in, so I'll just visit some of these people and see if they have anything I can use. It's been a while since I've been here in Arfu. I'm glad I was wrong about you. Welcome back. Hello, Karen Shenzi. Any help you can provide would be appreciated. There are a few interesting places around here I've heard about. I don't know if they'll help you or not, but you're welcome to them. Oh, please do. All right, I have to go now. Don't be a stranger. It's nice to have company. It's nice to visit people like you, Karen Shenzi. I'm glad you're happy to see me. And Evan King, how are you? Any help you can provide would be appreciated. Sorry, the wells run dry. Oh, well, that's too bad. All right, I have to go now. Come on back soon. I may have some stuff for you. Well, I haven't seen you in over two months, so I'm just going to assume, no, you never have anything for me. Now, I can pick the lock to Evan King's house. I don't feel like stealing from him, but he might have something good in here. Maybe even a bobblehead. I don't know. I'm not familiar with this place. Indeed, he has a bobblehead. The repair bobblehead. Good. My repair has gone up by five points. I'm glad I trespassed. And Ian probably has a bed for me. All right, Ian West had nothing interesting to say, so I'm going to sleep on this bunk bed for about two hours. That'll give me plenty of time for the alcohol to wear off, I think. 
Yes, the alcohol has worn off, but I am still loaded down with food. But I still have a lot of other things that are giving me bonuses. Yeah, my agility is down by one. It's too bad. Uh, I didn't find a workbench in here, unfortunately. Don't know if there are any workbenches in the area. But it's time for me to move on. Maybe I'll talk to a few more hey folks. All. Welcome back to our cozy village. Braley Ewers. Hey there. Howdy, Braley. Any help you can provide would be appreciated. Although I'm going to assume you're just going to give me like an old magazine or something. Why, yes. Let me give you one of my old-fashioned chocolate chip cookies. Enjoy. Oh. Oh. She gave me a tin can. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. And this person. Who are you? You're not Ian. You're Ken. Ah, hello, Ken. Don't mind, Braley. She's in La La Land again. Any help you can provide would be appreciated. Well, all I can do is offer my repair services to you. I'm pretty good with fixing stuff. That's usually because Braley breaks everything, thinking she's making a cake or something. Yeah, she just gave me one of her cookies. I don't need anything repaired right now, especially since you only have a 14 repair skill. Alright, so there was nothing much else in this town. A few more... Oh, Rock Breaker's Last Gas. Five Axles Rest Stop. Okay, there are a couple of places she put on my map. Good. I think I'll check out Rock, Bla Rock Breaker's Last Gas first. Let's check that out first. Yeah, I've been in this general area before. That's the Vapel power station I was at earlier. But I haven't specifically gone in this direction, so there could be quite a few threats. Yeah, it looks like someone's barricaded that... Barricaded that power station. And also, there is a death claw coming up behind me, which is fine. Come on, get out my shotgun. Down, down, down. Okay, good. Young death claw went down in two shots. Alright, gotta really be watching out for these guys. They, they could be a real big problem if there is more than just a young death claw. I'm lucky there was no mama death claw around here. Yeah, there's someone over here. Who are you? Well, you were hostile and now you're down, so I guess it doesn't matter. Bunch of wild beasts over there. I may have given away my position if anyone else is in the area. But it does not look like it, actually. Alright, time to loot this place. Ooh, mini nuke. Keller family transcript. I think I have a couple of those already. Not sure where I go to use them, but... Ooh, a very hard personal footlocker. Yeah. Well, I can't open that. But maybe the footlocker belongs to this person over here that I shot. Let me see if I can find her body. Hello? Wild dog? Wild dog who is hostile to me? Hello? Not gonna bother me, huh? Huh. Okay, well, goodbye. Ooh. A couple more pieces of wildlife. It's fine. As long as you don't attack me, I won't attack you. I'm just looking for this person's body. Yeah, oh, oh just a random wastelander. Oh. Well, that's not useful. She didn't have anything that I needed. Alright, just gonna keep making my way to my destination then. Whoa! I kinda wanted to check it out. Yeah, okay, this is definitely not a place I've been before. And something robo exploded over there, and I see movement. I see people walking around. The question is, are they hostile or not? There is... yep, okay, that person is hostile. And... Yeah, that person is hostile too, so... Nope. Try that again. That one goes down. And that one goes down. But I'm sure there's more than just the two of you. Whoa. Down you go. Was it just the three of you, though? I am very unfamiliar with this area. A couple of shacks that I have... I don't think I've ever visited before. Oh, but this person's got a firearm. Take him down. Get close. Close in the distance. Take him down. Down you go, Wastelander. Take your bullets and make my way away from this car before it explodes. Yeah, whatever's over there, not worth it. I'll probably die if I stick around. Oop, and there's a person over here. Yep, they see me. Let's close the distance. Down you go. Take your bullets. That car is now on fire, so let's just duck in here. Never mind, I can't go in that building. Let's just keep on moving then.
Can I go into any of these buildings, I'm starting to wonder. Not sure. You'd think this would be, like, marked on my map as a town or something, because it looks like there might actually be a community starting here. But it does not look like it, no. Oh, oh. Laser beams. Someone's fighting something over here. Robot versus... Super Mutant? Yep, that's a Super Mutant. And now it's not a problem. Well, let's just loot what we can around here. Doesn't look like much. And there goes that car. Yep. And really, not a whole lot at all in this area. A pilot light. whoop de doo uh, If I can check this building out in the center, I'll do that. But other than that, everything else is pretty empty. Ah, abandoned shack. Good. Let's check this out. Is it actually abandoned, though? Hello! It was not abandoned. You lied to me, game. Although... This place looks empty as well, unfortunately. This wastelander was carrying a rock. I'm not sure why I just picked it up, but... I'm not sure why he was carrying a rock in the first place, so... There's gotta be something special to it, right? He wouldn't just be carrying around a rock for no reason. Ooh. And Tales of a Junkyard Vendor. Thank you. Eh, there was very little in here. Doesn't feel like it was worth the journey. Let me check out these ammo canisters. Yeah, not a lot in there either. And there's a shack down here by the river. Uh, do I want to go check that out? No, probably not. It does not look like there's much over there. And there's a super mutant I killed. I wonder what he was fighting. I'm going to go over there and see what he was fighting. Because it looked like there was some kind of robotic explosion over here. Ooh, dead Yagwai. I doubt that was it, but maybe... No? No, I don't see any robots around here. There's a red rocket over there. Probably something good. But no robots. No. Alright, well, that, my destination is over here. So, oh, iBot. iBot on my map. You got the ammunition to spend, sure. Oh, you jumped. That's cheating. There you go. Yeah, maybe the uh, Super Mutant found an iBot or two and he was fighting them. Now, ooh. I saw something not particularly friendly. Yeah. Yep, that's an Enclave outpost. I have stumbled around into an Enclave outpost. Ooh. Super Mutant Enforcer. Since when does the Enclave work with Super Mutants? That's weird. Now, this is going to be tough. Whoa, 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 whoa! Scorpions! Scorpions snuck up behind me while I was scouting that place out! Down goes that scorpion! And that scorpion! I hope I didn't... I hope I didn't give away my location. Oh, okay! You hit my landmine. I was setting that up for those guys down there. But, sure, if you want it, you can have it. Another super mutant down there as well I gotta be careful about. Oh, it's not a super mutant. It's just some kind of... Well, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, Super Mutant Enforcer wearing an Enclave helmet. And it's dead. Good. Another iBot. Probably shouldn't be wasting my time. I know there are more guys down there. Yeah, like that guy. Enclave Officer. Let's take you out. Alright, drop the officer. There is another soldier here. Take you down as well. Oh, and another one. Quite a lot of people here to kill. It's alright. I got plenty of ammunition, so I'll just keep firing. I know there's at least one more. Indeed. Indeed. He found his way to me. Alright, I'm gonna run this way. Ow! Ow, my head! Ow, my head! I'm gonna run up and hide behind these rocks. Oh, he's firing at me. He's firing at me. Go! Duck, duck down! Duck down! Okay. Head and torso are crippled. Not great. Not particularly good. Get out the shotgun. Peek my head out. Yeah, yeah, he's coming. He's coming this way. Unfortunately, I don't think he's gonna hit my landmines. He's going a different route than I had planned. That's fine, though. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, yep. Oh. Oh, oh. Really taking a big beating here. Not good. All right, indirect combat seems to be preferable, so let's throw a couple of grenades over this rock. 
Yep. Oh, okay, that grenade hit me. That's bad. That's very bad. And that guy's still not down, unfortunately. There we go. That finished him off. Okay. Wow. Oh, that was a tough battle. Whoa, that Enclave Power Helmet gives 10 damage threshold. I'm going to take that, and I'm going to wear that once I've fitted it. Let me just fix my head and my chest and recover a bit of health and make my way down there and see how much... Ooh. All right, well, I'm not going to fix my chest, but let me just take one more stim pack, heal a bit of health. Oh, I guess I didn't need to. Well, whatever. I'm making my way down there, and I'm going to see what kind of damage I did and what they were carrying with them. Yep, don't see any more movement. Oh, never mind. There's a scientist here. And now there isn't. Goodbye, Enclave Scientist. Yes, that does seem to be the last of them, so let's loot this area. Rock Breaker's last gas. Super Mutant Enforcer had a couple of things on him. A lot of grenades, actually. Some other stuff, too. Lots of grenades on these guys. Lots of grenades. And first aid box. Good. Three more stem packs. That'll compensate me for the sum I expended against you. And a dead wastelander. I'll just assume you guys took care of him. All right, I'm not sure what they were guarding. It looks to be some kind of quarry area. Um, does not look like there's a whole lot over here. I'll go check this out. And I was able to heal my chest with the first aid supplies I picked up. Good. Now, is there anything in here? No. Nothing in here. Which is both good and bad. I was kind of hoping for something, but I got nothing. And a death claw down there. Yeah, there's a death claw down there. So... Yeah, let's be a little careful now, shall we? I have not faced a true death claw yet, and I don't know if I'm good enough to take one on, but either way, I want to get the drop on them before they see me. Yeah, yeah, all right. I think that might actually be a young death claw. Let me let me just shoot it and see. Went down in one hit. Yep, that was a young death claw. All right, not a problem. And I recovered some surgical supplies. Good. Good. Oh, wait. This is the area I was earlier that didn't have a whole lot. Hello, wild dog. Ow. Wild monster dog. You can die. Well, I've cleared out that enclave encampment and this hostile ghoul encampment. So let's check the map. Yep, that's Rock Breakers. And there's the Five Axles Rest Shop. And that's the area I'm supposed to be going. There's Vault 87. So... Why don't I stop up here, go to Five Axles Rest Stop, then maybe Shale Bridge, and then start making my way back down. That sounds like a plan. Yeah, I'm just kind of exploring today. It's just a very casual, easygoing day where we just kind of poke around and see what's up, because I am not very familiar with this area of the map. I heard a dog howling, and there's a monster dog. Down it goes. Enclave Ibot over there, which means there might be Enclave somewhere around here. But I don't see anything, so I'll keep making my way this way. After destroying the Ibot, of course. And here is... Ooh, I see a Super Mutant over here. I hit him, but did not kill him, unfortunately. Let's see if that uh, drew anybody's attention to me. Besides, of course, the Super Mutant himself. And not a problem. Let's see if you had any friends, and if they have any loot for me. And this wagon circle over here is what this looks like. Whoa, hello! Woo! Alright, they booby-trapped this area, whoever they are. Five axles rest stop. A lot of meat in here. Mm, nothing for me, unfortunately. Mm-hmm. Anybody else? Let me just poke my head around here. Don't see anything. I'd assume there to be more super mutants and not- Oh, hello! Goodbye, Raider! Were you guys hiding in here because the super mutant was out there? That's not a very nice thing to do to someone who came to rescue you. Uh, well, so be it. So goes life. Beretta 470 shotgun. That's alright. And a mini-nuke. Well, I'm glad I didn't accidentally shoot that. Alright, well, honestly surprised that I found raiders and a super mutant in the same area. Normally they just kill each other, 
and it's just one or the other. But no, no, today I got lucky and got to fight both of them in one area. All right, was that the that was the five axles rest stop? So I guess we're heading to Shale Bridge now. Ooh, someone's got some kind of cliffside shack over there. I kind of want to check out, but of course, gotta be very careful. I am, of course, venturing into territory that is unknown. There's another shack down here. Yeah, all right, let's just check this out. Looks like some kind of shipping container. Close quarters combat, so I get my shotgun out. And nothing, nothing is in here. Okay. Oh, I stumbled my way back into the Enclave. Ah. All right, well, I stumbled my way back to Rock Breakers. There's five axles, there's Shale Bridge. All right, and there was, yeah, I'm very curious as to what's in that shack right now, so I'm gonna go check that out. All right, I have made my way up here to the cliffside shack. Didn't see anybody on my way up here. No signs of life or anything, so, as long as I don't see any booby traps, let's just walk right in to the so-called abandoned shack which is occupied by a couple of rat roaches being kept for somebody's lunch. Another Keller family transcript, okay. Well, there was some good stuff in here, including this bottle cap mine, but other than that, no, just some ammunition and a couple of books, which is okay. There's also this locker that's locked very hard and I don't have the lock picking skills to open it, so let's attempt to breach the lock this time. I got plenty of explosives now. Let's not use a mini nuke, it's kind of close quarters right now, but frag grenade, let's try that. I took some damage and crippled my leg. Oh, this is not worth it. There is, I've tried to, I've tried to, still locked very hard. Open, nothing. You know, I've tried to breach these locks at least 10 times so far and it's never, ever succeeded. So, no more. I'm not even, as far as I'm concerned, that's not even an actual thing you can do. All right, well, that seemed like that was a giant waste of time, and I crippled my leg. Although that's more of my stupidity and less of the game being difficult. Hello? Hello? I wonder if I can take this out of the sky before it lands. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. <laughs> yeah, take that, you stupid Enclave soldiers. Trying to land in my position. Oh, hello? Well, looks like some super mutants have moved into the area I was poking around earlier. And down he goes. Good. And as for you, my friend, my big green friend, shoot you in the back a couple of times. All right. Well, I'm glad they didn't show up while I was down there. All right. I think I'll just start making my way to Vault 87. I've had my fun exploring around here. I found a couple of interesting sites, but it's time to continue on with the actual quest. So, all right. We're going to make our way to Little Lamplight, and hopefully that will lead us to Vault 87. It shouldn't take too long, I'm not too far away, but we'll see how successful I am at actually getting in there on my first try. There are, ooh. Alright, before I move on, looks like there are a couple more raiders I can take out, so I think I'll do that next time. Yes, join me next time and we will pop our heads out and take out these raiders and scavenge their area, and then we will move on to Vault 87 and continue on with the main storyline. So, thank you for joining me. My name is Mike, and this has been Fallout 3 Wanderers Edition. I hope you've enjoyed.